Hi everyone, we're going to be looking at Australian coins. We're going to be talking all about what they look like and how much they're worth. So let's check them out. You can see there's six different ones and they do look very different indeed. Okay, let's have a look at them. Okay, let's check out this first coin. Now this is a five cent coin. I can tell straight away for various reasons, but there's something that makes it really obvious that it is a five cent coin. Do you know what it is? Can you see the big five on there too? Here it is, the number five. That really gives it away that it is a five cent coin. Also, there is my favourite Australian animal on the coin. This echidna. Isn't it cute? I can see its little claws here on its hands and the claws on its feet and lots of spikes on its back. This coin is a round coin and it is a silver coin. Also, it is size-wise our smallest coin in Australia. Here is the 10 cent coin. Do you see why I know it's a 10 cent coin? It's pretty obvious. Can you see the number 10 on here as well? Yep, here it is, one, zero. Straight away, that tells me it is a 10 cent coin. Now, the animal on this 10 cent coin is the lyre bird. It's really tricky to see. This is what a lyre bird looks like in real life. Can you see these beautiful long feathers? Well, hidden on this coin is this bird also. I'll try and show you where. Just this little area here is its little head. You can see its beak and its eyes. Then here is its body and a little leg down here. All these beautiful big feathers are covering this lyre bird as it hides away. It's a bit tricky, but these animals are actually amazing animals. I found out that they can mimic any noise they hear in, in the bush. For example, if they hear a kookaburra, they can make a kookaburra noise. I think they are amazing. Anyway, back to the coin. This coin is also silver and round. Okay, the 20 cent coin. Once again, we can tell it's 20 cent coin because it has the number 20 on it. Here it is. Now, this animal is obvious. You can really see this Australian animal, the platypus. So the platypus is diving into what looks like swirling water here. How beautiful is that? Now, this coin is also silver and it is also round. Okay, up to the 50 cent coin. Yep, you guessed it. It's 50 cents because it has the number 50 on it. So here's the number 50 here. There's five and there's zero, the number 50. Now, the image on, of, on this coin is the Australian coat of arms. And this is an important symbol that recognizes Australia. It has lots of meanings to it, but it is made up of the kangaroo and the emu, and they're holding up this beautiful big shield. And within this shield, there are many different images which have lots of meaning. The main thing you should remember though is those two animals. Now these two animals, I found out an important fact about them, that they cannot walk backwards. Wow! Can you imagine that? Not being able to walk backwards? Anyway, let's keep going on with the coin. Let's find out how many sides this coin has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Wow, that's a lot of sides. Now this coin is also a silver coin and size-wise, it is our biggest coin in Australia. Okay, look at this beautiful coin, the $1 coin. And it even has the number one and the word dollar on it. Now this coin has a very beautiful animal of Australia, the kangaroo, and it's actually got five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like they're sort of hopping one after the other. Now this coin is a gold coin and it is round. 
Okay, here is our last coin, the $2 coin. And look, you can even see the number 2 and the word dollars. That reminds you that that coin is worth $2. It has the image of an Aboriginal elder, which is very important because the Aboriginal people were the first people who lived in Australia. Also, it has an important star constellation up here, which is known as the Southern Cross. These five stars can be seen at night time if you go outside and if it's a nice clear night without any clouds. There's also a native tree here um, and they're found in Outback Australia as well. This coin is round and it is gold. So these are the six coins that we just viewed and we just talked about the front of these coins. Well, at the back of each of these coins is a picture of the Queen, just the Queen's head. And that just reminds us that the English people were the first people who came to visit Australia. OK, let's see if you can remember what some of the coins look like. OK, first coin. Mm, this coin is round, silver, and it has a very cute echidna on it. Do you know what coin that is? Did you say the five cent coin? If you did, you are correct. OK, this next coin, mm, it has a platypus on it. It is round and it is silver. Did you say this coin? 20 cents? You would be correct. OK, this next coin is a gold coin. It actually has five kangaroos hopping on it. And it has the number one and the word dollar on it. Did you say one dollar? You would be correct. Okay, this coin size-wise is our biggest coin. It actually has 12 sides. It also has an important symbol for Australia, the coat of arms. Did you say 50 cent coin? You would be correct. This coin has a beautiful native bird on it. Now this bird is hiding under its beautiful tail feathers. It is a lyre bird and it is silver, this coin, and it is round. That's right, a 10 cent coin. This last coin is also a gold coin. It has an Aboriginal elder on it, the Southern Cross, and some grass trees. Did you say the two dollar coin? You were right. Well done. Awesome work, little money machines. Keep up the great work and keep on being awesome.